This is Mio's Fish House, Hobart's finest and busiest seafood restaurant. I'm lucky to have a table. The owner, George Muir, is very particular about the seafood he serves his customers. So particular, in fact, that he catches it himself. George has always loved fishing. He has been fishing since his childhood days in Kenya, where he grew up. Indeed, all his jobs have been with some aspect of the fishing industry. His first job in Australia was with a large fishing company in Sydney. But he was involved with marketing and not actually catching and processing fish. So he gave that up and went to Western Australia, where he took a job as a deckhand. Two years later, he had his coxswain's ticket and a half share in a 42-foot boat, the Aquanita. For 10 years, he skippered the boat, fishing in the waters around the Gulf country and as far north as New Guinea. But he had to stop fishing for a while because he'd broken his leg in a football accident. Never one to remain idle, he and his wife Jill looked about for an alternative. As Jill was an excellent cook, having worked in a four-star seafood restaurant in Piccadilly, they decided to start a fish restaurant. They had visited Tasmania before and fell in love with the island. The waters are abundant with a great variety of high-quality table fish as well as shellfish. Both had hoped to return and this seemed to be the right time. Hence, Muir's Fish House. The restaurant was an immediate success, but George longed to go fishing again. So he hired himself a designer and four boat builders and the result was the 50-foot wooden-hulled Mellicent with a speed of 23 knots. So, George was back on the water again. But things didn't stop there. George the restaurateur and George the fisherman were to be joined by George the boat builder. Why does a successful restaurateur and fisherman build boats? I sold my original boat before. I went into the restaurant business, and then I found I needed a boat very urgently to uh, supply fish for the restaurant. I wanted to use a fast boat, which I could get fish every day for the restaurant, and uh, I couldn't get that type of boat in Tasmania, and so I decided to uh, build one on the West Australian scooter boat principle, but a fairly big one. A lot of interest was shown in this boat, and uh, I got in with Don Hazel, and together we formed Channel Craft. We built three uh, wooden boats to start with, which we took female moulds off. These moulds are then uh, used to produce the fiberglass hulls. The um, uh, hulls are still fiberglass, but most of the fitting out is done in timber, uh, as you can see. This boat here is a 53-foot um, charter boat for Queensland. We also have a 42-foot fishing boat and three 35-foot fishing boats being built, and there's another boat of this size uh, for charter work, which is being laid up in the mould now. And at present, he has orders for another nine boats. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. He has a mussel farm, too. But that's another story. Keeping up with George Muir is like, well, you try it sometime. But don't be surprised if they tell you he's gone fishing. This is Judith's story from this week in Tasmania. Mm.